With the abundance of snow we've received this year, there are a number of activities we can do to get out, get healthy, and enjoy this weather. One popular activity is snowshoeing. The Suto Voyager Trail Club organizes weekly outings to get people out there. Okay, well, the um, Sault Ste. Marie branch of the Voyager Trail Association is called the Suto Voyager Trail Club. We have a very active club here locally. We uh, lead snowshoes all winter long, um, even on days that aren't quite as snowy as this one. <laughs> but um, we have all kinds of trails in the area and they're terrific to get out on. It's also interesting to see the tracks in the snow. Um, you don't have to worry about bears. <laughs> But it's nice to see uh, where little um, otters have slid down hills and, and sometimes you'll come across the odd moose track or something in the bush. It's really quite interesting. So it's very different in the wintertime and, and no bugs. People ask me all the time how to learn to snowshoe. And snowshoeing is not a sport. It's not something that you have to learn. It, it's just walking and your snowshoes stop you from sinking in the snow. A couple of tips though, uh, and you do pick that up with some experience. Um, taking a hiking pole or, or just a ski pole will help you with your balance. And sometimes going up and down hills can be tricky. So again, your pole will help you both ways, going up and going down. Um, but there, there's nothing to it. Just get out and walk. And, and with snowshoes, you're able to go anywhere you want. Uh, where in the summertime, because of uh, wet areas and things, you're, you're somewhat hindered. But in the wintertime, you can take a stroll. You don't generally get lost because you turn around and there's your tracks. <laughs> you can follow your way back home again. But we, we're blessed in the Sioux with having some actual snowshoe trails. So that's good too. So get out and try it. What we have uh, at Hiawatha, we have uh, two complete uh, trail systems. Uh, for the beginners and advanced snowshoers. On the, um, the west side of the property, on our Pinder system, we have a four kilometer trail system with a half K cutoff that equals about two kilometers of, uh, of trail. Um, in our lodge, we offer uh, rentals for uh, all sizes, uh, all ages. And the Pinder system that we have here is, is suitable for uh, all ages as well. It's fairly easy terrain, fairly flat. Um, at the very halfway point of the full system, there's a lookout on the west side of the property that on a clear day, you can see uh, fairly, you can see, you know, Lake Superior and, and the uh, St. Mary's River. Uh, so it's, it's really nice and it's our flattest, easiest terrain. I had the pl privilege of going out with Don McGorman and clearing out some trails. Uh, it mostly consists of trail maintenance where we cut down brush, branches, uh, move debris, leaves, even logs that have fallen over trails. If there was a log on the ground, we would either cut through it and move it. If not, if it was too big, we'd have to move around it and create a whole new trail. Other than that, clearing these trails, it makes it more safe and durable for all hikers, snowshoe hikers, skiers. I'm surprised to see how much people actually contribute to this. And also, there's always familiar faces, but even then, there's also newcomers. So it's always a nice place. You get to meet new people, friendly people on top of it. Therefore, it's also a great environment. It's very nice and also I can't wait to come out again. Uh, last year I started snowshoeing with Dawn. Um, we started in the fall doing um, some of the trail maintenance, um, like the clearing the paths and making the new paths and everything nice. And it was a really good opportunity throughout the entire winter because last year we had an excellent, excellent winter. And it was lots of snow and lots of opportunity to just go out and pack the trails down again for everybody. It was really cool just um, to go out and explore like all the different areas like um, inside Sault Ste. Marie and just a little outside. Uh, Glenview Cottages is really nice and um, here at Hiawatha it's a very nice trail like every time it's like the same paths but it's always a different experience just because like there's more snow less snow it's a good time. It's an excellent way to get exercise just because it's so easy when it's like winter happens just to kind of want to like stay inside but once you get out and you get moving it's so awesome and like you just keep going and you will just want to push yourself further and further because like up the top of the hill like there's just like so many there's so many awesome views and just it's a good way just to get out and you feel a lot better like once you actually do get out and get a good sweat going because like it is just walking but the snow just adds that like extra challenge for you so it's just at the end of the day you're feeling like you did something awesome. Well before I discovered snowshoeing I was struggling with downhill skiing and cross-country skiing and I never really felt I was having fun and then somehow I uh, tried snowshoeing and since then, I haven't looked back. 
I actually got rid of my skis and uh, I look forward to winter coming because of the snowshoeing. We, the Voyager Trail has a, has a guidebook that uh, was just published and that has uh, full color maps of the whole Voyager Trail system. So that gives you lots of opportunities of places to explore. Yeah, well, I, I think snowshoeing in general is, is, uh, is, a, is an activity that all age groups can take part in, uh, young, old, all alike. Uh, and, it, and it's a way to get people safely to explore the, uh, the winter surroundings uh, of our beautiful city. And we're blessed up at Hiawatha Highlands and other areas along here uh, with uh, huge snow amounts. And, and in the middle of winter, uh, it, it's, it's so picturesque that it's, it's an easy way to everybody get outside and just enjoy. If you're interested in heading out for a snowshoe, you can visit the Voyager Trail Association's website at voyagertrail.ca. For Ghost to St. Marie, I'm Christian LeMay.